Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a, a new Google update that's actually being rolled out or that's going to be rolled out. And it's about having the mobile index first. Um, now, if you're not already aware, then Google makes notes that the majority of searches and the most amount of searches are actually performed on mobile devices. However, the Google's index, as it says here, is using the desktop version. Um, so what Google's going to be doing is they're going to be switching over and they're going to be switching to show the mobile index first um, and not the desktop index guys. So basically our rankings are going to be based on what we show on mobile devices. Now if you have responsive designs guys there's nothing for you to worry about really apart from checking your website to make sure everything looks fine. Um, but if you're serving things like if you're serving some content to a mobile device and some different content to a desktop device then just May, just be warned guys that it's going to be your mobile device and your mobile listing that's going to be actually um, used for ranking inside of Google. Um, now I'm not going to actually go through all of these updates for you guys instead what I'll do I'll actually leave a link for you so you can come along and have a read to see exactly how it's going to impact you how it's going to impact your sites as well. Um, I don't think it actually makes some full notes of how it's going to impact your sites um, but I'm sure you'll be able to pick up on this. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this one here as well. Um, this is another very cool article as well guys so I'll, I'll leave a link um, for you um, to this article so you can come along and have a read on it. What I'm going to do instead though in this video guys is show you how this is going to dramatically impact me personally and my sites um, and how it could affect you and your sites um, and how you can be in a position to check this beforehand um, and put everything right before you know we start to see any massive ranking decreases or drops because that's basically what's going to happen if we're showing different versions of text to different people. Oh, sorry, to different devices. So anyway, let me go over to Chrome and let me show you one of my websites, guys. So this is one of my websites and it's not using a responsive theme. Now, a, f a little while ago, I think about a year ago, guys, I made notes of a plugin called WP Touch. Now, WP Touch makes any website mobile friendly, um, but plugins like WP Touch are not using your main theme and they're going to be doing a number of things to make it mobile friendly and I'm going to be showing you this in a moment but anyway this is my website guys um, and this is only a, a dummy website that I'm showing you but I've got lots of websites like this right on my desktop website I've got all this content guys as you can see um, I've got all these interactive areas um, I've got all these questions and how to so I can start benefiting from the hummingbird update and you know um, what not you so I've spent a good amount of time to actually put this website together Okay, what I can do now is um, I can actually go, because I'm in Chrome, I can go over to a new tab and press F12, and that's going to open the developer console. And when you click this button here, guys, um, this one just here, toggle the device toolbar, then it'll actually show you the responsive version, and you'll allow, you can actually see how it'll look on a, on a mobile device. So I'm going to add the URL here, guys, and we can see how it looks side by side. Okay, so take a look at this, guys. This is my website on the desktop device. OK, I've got my questions, I've got my how to's, I've got interactive content. In fact, I've got lots of content. I've got about a thousand words on the home page. OK, but my mobile device here, guys, it's only showing this. That's all it's showing, guys. OK, it's not showing any content whatsoever. It's not showing my sidebars. It's not showing my widgets. It's not showing my content. In fact, it's showing all of these posts. When I click on one of these posts here, for example, it's going to load the internal page, guys. OK, it doesn't load the actual, um, it doesn't show the content like I, I would hope it to show, um, but it's going to load the internal page. What this means, I don't know if I can go back. Oh, yeah, I can. What this means, guys, is if my website, this website doesn't rank well whatsoever, guys, so I'm not worried about this website, but I've got other websites that do. Now, if my website um, was ranking for multiple keywords because of all this content and because of all these how-tos and everything, guys, what's going to happen when the index changes to mobile first um, and it starts showing my website like this, guys? I'm going to lose massive amounts of value, massive amounts of traffic, guys. Um, so what I need to do is um, I need to make sure that I'm using a responsive theme. I'm not going to be using WP Touch now, guys. Um, I could probably make some and add some custom HTML, custom CSS to WP Touch to maybe toggle the sidebars and show them towards the bottom. But you know what? It's not showing none of my content on the home page. It's only showing links to my posts. Um, it's not giving any value to the search engine itself to you know to feed on my content to see what we rank for um so yeah you know what this isn't this 
you know, this is something that I would highly recommend you all do, guys. Go ahead, look at your websites on your mobile versions, especially pay close, close attention to your content being shown on your homepage. Pay close attention to your widgets being shown um, because you know what? As soon as the change happens, um, if we're not showing or if our websites are not in the same state as they are on our desktop, um, then we're going to see some massive reductions in ranking. Um, and now just, just to let you know, guys, you don't have to use Chrome to see your own website. You can go over to sites like Mobile Phone Emulator um, and you can see your websites in here as well, guys. Um, so anyway, I really, hope if you, I really hope you can take one thing away from this, guys, and that is test all of your websites. Make sure your websites are looking and feeling how they should be looking and feeling to the search engines um, on your mobile versions because that's what's going to be happening. It's going to be switching over um, and we don't want to be caught with a massive hit and fall in traffic. So anyway, um, happy Friday, guys, and I really hope you enjoy this video.